Hello, my name is Monica Bednarek and I'm using Lawrence Anthony's and Kong software in teaching corpus linguistics to students. So this is a little video showing you how to create a frequency list using AntConc. Um, now with this particular frequency list I've already loaded um, the corpus files into AntConc and there's another video that shows you how to do that. Uh, the corpus for this demonstration consists of five, 15 speeches by um, President Obama. So the first thing that um, we can look at is actually look at um, the tool preferences setting. Um, and you can see that there's a particular category for word list. Um, this gives you a number of display options and also other options. So for example, one thing that you can look at is um, the option to treat all data as lowercase. Um, so normally um, we want to have that clicked because we're not particularly interested in the difference between um, say and when it is used in the middle of a, um, of a sentence or and um, when it's used to start a sentence so where it would you know start with a, um, a capital letter. So often um, you will actually have to click treat all data as lowercase. Um, sometimes you might want to leave it um, unclicked, for example, if you're interested in differences for frequencies for words um, where the same word can be used as a proper name and also as a, as a common, um, just as a noun. For example, rows um, would be an example. The word list preference list also gives you a range of other options, such as using um, a lemma list file, which would allow you to um, create a lemmatized list and also to uh, use a stop list um, so that l lets you exclude um, excludes words that you don't want to have in your frequency list or to just do a frequency list for specific words um, which you could add here as well so if you click that and you add it um, for example woman here and um, man here um, the result would be that you would just get a frequency list for the words woman or man so normally, however, if you just want to um, use a normal, you want to create a normal frequency list, um, these um, are the settings that we would use. So once we've checked um, the tool preferences settings, um, we can just basically go to the word list tab. And you see that actually here's another, um, another option for you to click and unclick um, whether or not you want to treat all data as lowercase. And then we just click start and you can see here that it is processing the files and here you can then see the frequency of, um, of the words um, and the rank depending on how the word list has been sorted so here um, as you can see it has been sorted by frequency that is the most frequent word um, the which will also be at rank number one however you could also change um, the sorting for example by word which would um, give you an alphabetical alphabetical um, ranking. So here you can see that A is rank number one um, even though it, um, it isn't the most frequent word in the corpus. Um, as you can see also here abandon is number two, rank number two. So the rank here hasn't got anything to do with the frequency it's just um, uh, ordered according to um, alph the alphabet. Um, this can be useful if you're interested in the frequency for a particular word. So you could then search for that particular word in the alphabetic fre frequency list. You can also invert the order so that it um, doesn't start from A but from Z and, and so on. And you could also sort by word end. That might be interesting if you're, you're in investigating um, word formation, morphology and so on. So um, that's the basic way um, in which to create a frequency list using AntConc.